Man, they really fumbled the bag on this, though. Oh, that's right. We have to start the opening. Shit. Okay, sorry. Uh, hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to uh, One Piece of Podcast, episode... 38. 38. Thank you. <laughs> huh. Got I think him. I just cracked... Got him, GG's. I, <laughs> I think I just cracked my rib because I'm sitting crisscross and I just breathed in and I heard a snap and I was like, oh, man. Oh, Liam just broke a rib? That's not good. <laughs> that would That would be funny. Yeah, you would definitely know if he broke a rib. You wouldn't actually. Yeah, know, like, it talk. would be it would be a lot of pain. You wouldn't yeah. talk. You would have just you would have screamed and like, yeah, it would have been painful. It would have not been good recording. Let's tell you that <laughs> it would have been the end of the episode. But anyways, thank you everybody for joining, subscribing, following, liking, and commenting in our videos. Thank you. It means us. It means a lot. Why isn't Robin <laughs> reading a book? She always reads a book. How many openings have you seen of One Piece? I think this is the only. One. This is the last one I'm on. Okay. It makes yeah, sense. This is the last yeah, one I yeah, saw because this is the last yeah. arc I saw. Logic. Imagine getting spoiled. Like if this was your first time watching, and you just saw a strange girl standing there with like a purple variant of Robin's white outfit. You'd be you, like, "What is you going be, on?" You'd have to be so fucking stupid to not see that it's the same character. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. have to be so dumb. You have to be like, wait, why is that a Baroque work girl with them? Yep. I don't. I don't even think we still. We still don't know her name's Robin. Like we still don't know. Yep. But we gave up on that real quick. <laughs> yep. Oh, they're all making their way up the path, except for the blue line. Because why would the blue line make it up there? Oh my god, this video already feels like a fucking drag. Holy shit. Okay, great. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Thank you everybody for watching our videos. If you haven't already subscribed, it can, it helps us out a lot. It raises our morale. Trust me, it works. Don't, like, just hit that button and we'll be happy. Okay? You get content you every week. <laughs> if anyone's Literally. supposed to leave, it should be me. Yeah. Also, that, hey. Yeah. No, what were you gonna say? No, say something. No, you say something. Fucking say something. Hi. Okay, what do you say? I forgot everything that Crocodile said in that moment. We literally talked about that. <laughs> um, I was going to say the blue line is probably Usab and, and Chopper since they're still on the desert sand. Mm. Yeah. Well, yes, but also no. In his mind, it's a, it's a truth. In reality, it's a lie. Nobody noticed what I did. Could you imagine Thankfully. Crocodile killing the main character away from the rest of the party? Oh, that'd be great. Oda, Oda could never, right? Yeah. <laughs> we killed the main character off screen. Well, not cause... even off screen, just with no one else watching his death. That's like the equivalent of Naruto being sniped when he's just like away from like Sasuke and the rest of his old friends. Are you saying that actually happened? I don't know what they're going to do with Naruto because I don't watch Boruto. Or read Boruto. So I don't know what they're going to do with Naruto. Apparently, Naruto is supposed to die. Everyone's supposed to die. Apparently, everyone is supposed to die because they spoiled it in the first episode of Boruto. And it's, Did they really? Yes. It's all been a retelling of past events. Because the first episode is literally them showing a Boruto that's literally Naruto's age in Shippuden. And then they cut back to Boruto just becoming a guinea. Which is like a 10 year old. Uh, it's like so it's literally it's like, like they're gonna count up three years of content and they're still doing it where i think he's still a 10 year old and i'm just like i'm not here for this like you don't show an aged up character of all this shit and then just say lol sit back for five years <laughs> like no <laughs> now here's the backstory so remember when i was just about to die well let me tell you how i died it all started back oh when no I was it wasn't born. showing naruto's death but it was showing boruto standing in a destroyed leaf village with this other dude and like they look completely older so it's like you know like okay they're probably like 16 17 at this point and like they're about to box not box they're about to just fight you know on like the side of like the hokage faces which have been demolished at this point and it's like that's such a cool moment to see and then like it 
it's like like three minutes of that and then it like cuts into like the real show which is boruto as a 10 year old leaving the fucking academy yeah and i'm just like yeah that's not a good call for pr- production wise that's not good not to me at least like i'm not gonna sit here and just wait for you to get to the good part <laughs> yeah oh 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 wait what are we doing here i don't did we skip i guess i think we're done with alabaster we didn't even realize it what is this description things don't look good for the prettiest straw hat nami's about to tangle with a thorny adversary nami's about to tangle with a thorny adversary and the weapon Usopp built her is only good for party tricks. <laughs> okay, this is a flashback for her weapon of choice, which they don't indicate at all, by the way. They don't indicate on the corners, or they don't make it washed out or anything. This this weapon also goes through a lot. Yeah, it gets, it gets possessed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know that? Okay. You told me this. Did I really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Common section. <laughs> Damn, Yum, why? Sorry, sorry about that. That was that was that was a mistake. <laughs> the comment section is like, Liam. I think that was when I was showing you, like, when we weren't doing this, or maybe it was when we were doing this. Nah, everything I've been spoiled on is because I say we're not doing this, and then we start. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was that one episode at work where we just literally looked at so many female One Piece characters. Oh, yeah. I re- oh, I'm so happy you remember that because that's everything. Every time I keep thinking of, oh, he hasn't seen that. I just keep remembering. Remember when we watched almost every single opening at work and it's just going right over your head? I'm like, okay, good, good, good. I forgot <laughs> the female character faces. I just knew we did it. Uh, I know that we talked about all sorts of conspiracies with Devil Fruits. Uh, we talked about the Devil Fruit origin and like wonky shit with that. We I talked do about talking about Sanji, uh, a lot of Sanji. So I already know yeah. about Sanji's like come up. And um, I don't think you actually remember any of it. No, I I know Sanji's come up. I know Zoro's just like <sighs> that Wano arc with Zoro though, and like man, that character that associates with Zoro. I'm just like, dude, he's lucky as hell. <laughs> and he doesn't even know it. Also, guys, I got some apple cider. She really thought he was going to be something. Oh, shout out to them <laughs> having a moment where he builds her a weapon. Yeah. It just further cool. shows like, wow, she's so bad she missed her heart. <laughs> <laughs> you could really show just... one move. Yep. Instead, she would have been just a good assassin. Her. Yeah, you just hindered her. What's the rest of it for? To walk through the door. Instead of just going through the window, she just makes her own door. Sachet, sachet. She's literally there. For rule thirty-four. <laughs> no, she isn't. No, she isn't. Are you sure about that? Yes. Dude, they drew that man. I ain't gonna say anything. You know, I don't. I don't know how I feel about her ability. Impaling people with spikes. It's like. It's a porcupine. Mm. Sometimes it calls forth clouds. Mm. Wait, you're not going to finish that thought? I'm trying. You know, I don't think I have an idea of what I was going through with that thought. So I really don't know what to say on that thought. So I'm probably not going to finish that thought because I don't know what I was going with. Why is she so pressed right away? Why are you so pressed right away? You are the partner for Mr. One. Also, look at Usopp making an, an item that does this. Like, how did he do that? I, I Like, seriously. You want me to be impressed by this? 
How does a magician put a, pull a fucking dove out of a hat? No, no. Yeah, but how do you pull doves out of a circular out, out of out of Those a triangle? triangle? Yeah. Well, Nami's into animal abuse. There you go. Mm-hmm. Nami just choked out a pigeon. <laughs> Brown, 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 brown. Uh, we're already halfway through, thank god. <laughs> yeah. Hello everybody, how are you enjoying this video? You enjoying it? Good, 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 good. Because we what a are dream. two. <laughs> you know, I'm oh, oh, I'm so dream. excited for when Zeke finally leaves this area, you know, and we can, and Zeke is experiencing everything for the first time. Oh. Also, what the fuck is going on with Oh, okay, I've never seen her do that until Not, now. Oh, fucking Robin! Oh my god, their hands! Whoa, wait! She did shouldn't she, where, know. She did shouldn't she, know he's right there, unless she put eyes through the wall. That makes no sense. How do they all fall down? Clumsy as hell. These, these, I love how these are the royal guards. They can just fall off of nothing. Also, like, look how go good any, she can fight. Do they go through any training at all, though? Probably not. Like, these guards are worse than the people. Oh, holy shit, I didn't even realize that. Robin's wearing her purple outfit underneath her white coat. Ma, uh, dude, Liam, the purple outfit is just a, a tank top bra thing, okay? It's not like a full-on outfit. So, yeah, I mean, okay. she, she wore a coat. You know, like, that's just how Nami, like, wears t-shirts, but then, like, wears something on top of the t-shirt. Yeah, that's true. Girls gotta be all fashionable and shit. What a stubborn girl. How old is she? Nami? Nah, the other one. Uh, let's, let's, let's look that up. I love how how old is, is... <laughs> the, the, uh, the, the spike... Spike fruit girl. The Toga Toganumi? The Toga Toganumi. Her name is Zala. She is 26 years old. Damn, man. I, if she was just a shopkeeper, man, she actually would be decent to me. Oh my god, she has like a completely different facial structure in the manga. In the old art style? Show me, show me. Yeah. An actual bullet. Oh, you, you hate to see it. <laughs> Stinga, finga. Ow. Well, that's not going to do good for now. That, that's that's all. That's all. No way. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. That was nothing. She's plummeting from the tier list. Good lord, woman. Good she's like, lord. She's hmm. literally just for eye. Like, she's just sex appeal. I'm sorry, Liam. Like, you talking about how like, she's not rule 34. Fine. Fair enough. That was a little extreme on my part. But she is just, <laughs> she is just there for sex appeal. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Her manga counterpart looks exactly the same. What are you talking about? But look at the... Like, her face looks it's like same. it's more... Yeah. Let's see what she is again. Yeah, yeah it's just the same. Maybe her eyebrows are just less thick. This is this is what you like. You like this right there. God damn, yes I do. Yes I do. The only difference is honestly just the, the sound fact that oh my god, synced right at all. <laughs> also, she's Sonic. Well, holy crap! Look at this. Okay. No. You shouldn't be able to run. No. No, that's okay, dude. Let it happen. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. How can she see where she's going? She's spinning. Oh my god. Yo, that's. I don't want to see that close up. Ooh, yeah. that was. That was... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go on, yes. Nami. Good combat. <laughs> good, good, good combat skills, girl. When in need, undress. That's, yep. That's going to be taken out of context. 
Oh, no, you're just a clown. <laughs> Oda brought down these top villains just to raise up the characters, and I don't like that. The clown yeah. attacked. I like how the pigeon just follows Nami. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, you, you're carrying my home. Yeah, it's a party trick. Why didn't you yeah. read this before? Like Nami, like I'm. Whenever I get new shit, I always read the instructions when I first get it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, so, so you're like that too. I'm not the only one. Yeah, because there are so many people who refuse to read instructions, and then nowadays. they just open it up and they're just like, "Oh, this thing doesn't work." And it's like, "Well, oh my god." Mm, I, I I watched somebody online. They were looking at games, right? And the game said, like, they didn't look through the whole thing. The game said that it was it was five like it, it it could be played from one to eight people, but it says like there's it's one player and then underneath that it says two to eight people. But they didn't see that and they just kind of went about their day and then just completely ignored the ignored the game. Wow! And the person was like, "Oh man, I need a game to play with multiple people that everybody will enjoy." And he's like, "Oh, World War Z! Wow, that is crazy. And it's only for one person though. I'm just gonna ignore that." It's like, no, what do you stop? Please. Just yeah, people are real ignorant. Yeah. Shout out to that fool. Uh, never mind. She's so stupid to just stand there. <laughs> She's kind of taking it. Oh no, that tinkled. It's like, this is like a, a tutorial for Nami. Honestly, that's kind of what this feels like. It's just a tutorial fight. So that puts her at the equality of a starter village boss. Yep. You hate to see it. <laughs> <laughs> she is literally the sidekick of the number one. I hate this. Ow, that would hurt really badly. That cut her tendon. Like, she shouldn't be able to walk anymore. Her Achilles yep. got snapped. Yep. Whoa! Where's the strength? What? There was no strength in that. She... Well, I guess Nami did have strength before. Oh, that was the strength. Yeah. Funny fact, this is actually how this type of stuff works. You mean weather? I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. <laughs> Alabasta will do that for you. Damn, Nami's chest oh. makes no sense there in that shot. <laughs> now she's hypothesizing. Well, Nami's like, eighteen. How this so, work. Okay. That is true. Woman's yeah. body. Yep. She's trying to study. God, Nami's a strange <laughs> student. Yeah, God. Her midterm is next week. Damn it! You could have killed her because she wasn't looking at you. Oh, you uh, did. Mm. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure about that? The pigeon really is the sidekick here. Uh, yeah. Oh pigeon man, if only the pigeon kid. stayed with her. Oh, but that's a really cool case. Look, now she's petting the pigeon. <laughs> Bro, what if the pigeon was just her, uh, her familiar uh, in like future art? That would be so cool. But I'm gonna end that idea right now. I know no, it does not happen. I mean, look at that. She just tosses the bird away. The bird will die because the bird is like made up of nothing. A hawk just comes out of nowhere. Where <laughs> yeah. ah! picks it up and flies off. And the what is it doing? <laughs> that bird just got eviscerated into heaven. It didn't flap its wings once. It just <laughs> rose further and further up. <laughs> it wasn't a real bird, or maybe the hawk already took it, and it's just its soul was, or his body was just lifeless there as the hawk took off with its soul. A fucking JPEG <laughs> just dragged up the screen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, all right. That was probably piercing through blown. Uh, is, is it pierced through his skin or just elbows? His elbows, probably. It's probably just his sleeves. Man, it really hasn't been touched yet, though. Where do you get the scars? If he hasn't been touched yet, uh, that I have no idea. There's a lot of things about crocodile that we don't know. 
Yeah, like him being a woman. <laughs> that was your recent phenomenon? Yeah. I don't know where you found that him being a woman thing. Okay, it'll come back up. You're so kidding me, people. He doesn't mm. sound... He... I'm not even going to go there. You're just... He doesn't sound like what, a female? <laughs> he doesn't. He sounds like a man. But it doesn't really matter if that's the case or not. I understand <laughs> that. I understand. Look, I'm I'm not closed minded people. I understand. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. True. Kingdom dies, royal family dies. That's what an uprising yep. is. I'm just looking at Robin. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. I hate what they do to her art style. I don't know. I kind of like it. Her current art style does not look good because it's not keeping her essence intact. Robin's face is so drastically different from every... Look at that. It's it's such... Oh, yeah. She's definitely one of the characters that had the most, like, change throughout the she show. She looks so iconic right now. I, I like You have no doubt who she is with, like, her silhouette and everything. And like they just like they I'm not even gonna i I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. Oda like fucking whitewashes her. Literally. Takes her tan away and everything. I don't yep. know how I feel about that. I don't I don't know how I feel about well, that at all. I don't know how I feel about that either, but we have to continue moving on, you know? We just have to, we gotta keep going. I miss the old Robin already. <laughs> Oh, we're back. Sorry, I was looking back at thumbnails of One Piece. Oh, I don't know what you were doing. I don't know what I was doing either. Damn, they had to show that again? They know who their Ooh. customer, customer, clientele. <laughs> clientele, huh? They know who their viewers are. There we go. Got it eventually. <laughs> ah, got him. GG's. Oh, he really did get pierced through his elbow. That's skin, my boy. They crucified this king. Vivi's father's name is Cobra? Yeah. Cobra Kai. <laughs> Was it intentional that they made Robin look like an Egyptian? No, she's an archaeology. Our archaeologist, so. But like... You see, like the art style of her, and like the way her nose is drawn and everything. Yeah, yeah. it's it's like you know, like it's like the Egyptians, and like how like I shows mean, and like like Disney and like how they drew like the Egyptian stuff. In the it movies. it makes sense with their backstory, her her appearance. So I'm I'm not too worried about it. So. Yeah, I wasn't saying it was a problem. I just brought it up. Yeah, I think the art looks great. Like she looks beautiful. I said it for like twenty fucking episodes. <laughs> <laughs> so okay so in your opinion out of all of the current straw hats which straw hat is your favorite and why is it god Usopp? robin because i'm just a thirsty man at the end of the day but zoro okay. because he's just a boss character mm. okay. so that's why you like god Usopp? robin's such a mature specimen of just wine and dine and yeah. just beauty yeah, her nose is just super long, and she can use a slingshot really well, you know? Is that her weapon, a slingshot? Oh, yeah. you fucking dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm so, I'm so tired. You fucking mixed me, bro. I'm so tired already tonight, and you just killed me. <laughs> <laughs> you said I long mean... nose and slingshot. I'm like, well, yeah, I guess we did talk about Robin's nose, but, like, I was so fucking done. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Crocodile is a bitch. <laughs> oh, we have no idea what you're saying, bro. This man, this is, what are you doing? Yeah, so, you know, why Why do you think Crocodile thinks the god Usopp is the best character alive, you know? Either Crocodile needs to throw a punch or get the fuck out of the show. Like, I'm tired right? of It's all man. about god Usopp. He's talking too damn much. Just Usopp. Yeah. Usopp's stuck in a cast. I don't want to hear anything from him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, neither do I. He, he's, yeah. 
She can yeah. still control this while having other conversations. That's pretty OP. Yeah, of course Usopp can do that. He, he's a god. I think it's, I think the joke's only funny when I talk about it. <laughs> when you talk mm. about it, it's just like, what is this man doing? Yeah, I understand. Kaboom. Kaboom. Only God Usopp can do that. I don't, I don't even know why we're here anymore. Why are we just here to suffer when God Usopp's around? Crocodile, what's your end goal here, bro? What do maybe, you want to do? Maybe he just wants to make God Usopp a reality and praise him for all eternity. Liam, I'm about to fucking mute you. <laughs> 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 I mean like seriously like why is Robin such a good character why why is Robin so amazing why you know Robin does so many cool things throughout the show if he muted me I can just spoil Robin right now and I'm going to you remember when Robin's backstory, when there was that one... I don't think I'm recording. Uh, I'm not editing this. No, I'm editing this. So who are you talking to, man? Fuck. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you what muted me. What are you talking about? I thought, I thought you muted me in Discord, so I was just going... You want me to go to Discord, <laughs> ruin my fucking recording, and mute you? <laughs> You want me to just right click on your fucking icon? Do you want me to do this? Do you want me to be on No, no, right no, now? no. You're fine. No, that's good. No. I imagine was, this was, being the, the joke's episode. over. The joke's imagine over. Imagine this being the episode where I just fucking rip apart the <laughs> channel <laughs> piece by piece. I just destroy <laughs> Liam and just I destroy the recording. This yep. is the channel Liam. Or this is the episode Liam pushed me past my breaking point during Alabasta yeah. of all arcs, of course, right? <laughs> yep, the one <laughs> I am the true gatekeeper. We never get past this arc because I just don't like it, and then Liam pushed me past <laughs> the breaking point where I just quit. I quit the channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god how could she run she tore her achilles it's probably adrenaline you cannot run on a torn achilles <laughs> with just adrenaline either she is a terrible shot or nami just doesn't have achilles also she no longer has any hands does nami even bleed anymore or her wounds just healed yeah there's no blood uh, on her that's such a good point what the heck what is this, four kids? Where's where's Sanji's lollipop? <laughs> Legs have no blood at all. You know, it pierced th right on through. At least they said, if we're going to have Nami fight, let it just be with barely any clothes. And it's yeah. like, okay, why not? Absolutely. We get to see her true beauty. Oh my god. She just used her boobs. Yep. 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 That's so many jokes. And we have none of them. Also her mm -hmm. mouth. It's the fact that we just can't say any of them. Oh, man. I Yep, I can't say one of them. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Give it back. Oh, she just blew. Do you not? Do you know where that pipe's been, that girl? You just be blowing the <laughs> shit. You have no idea what she's done with the, that pipe. She could have done anything to that pipe. Why did you let that happen? What? <laughs> <laughs> Again, Why she's just she's happen? she's like the tutorials. She is the tutorial boss. Oh my god, you know what this reminds me of? Aqua from Konosuba. The useless goddess. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. If Aqua was put into this art style world, I might have a heart attack with just the sheer cuteness. Oh yeah, she would be really cute. 
See option stinga. Once again, you can't see where you're going, dumbass. <laughs> These are just not good look. Now she looks up. Yep. She goes in one line like you can't pivot. She hasn't mastered the art of of looking at your feet and walking. Like I have. I'm really good at doing that. Sachet, sachet. Oh my god. What is doping. she doing? She's doping. She can dope herself? I'm just gonna infuse my own body into itself. Chopper did it. Wapo did it. That's true. Yeah, I guess it's nothing too great, but what the f- No. No. She literally called no. it doping too. That's hilarious. This is literally for fucking fan service. Now she has even less clothes on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to cut. <laughs> Don't worry, just not me fearing for her life. Cut. <laughs> Nami twice? No way. Lazy. Wow. Budget went to shit. They're just reusing assets. Imagine if we did that too. <laughs> Couldn't be us. Couldn't be us. <laughs> I Zeke, I need to stop the recording right now. I need to go back and I need to edit those videos so that I that doesn't happen. Okay, let's cut back in. Hi. Okay, so I'm editing this. I don't know why I had to say that. <laughs> it's not like we already, we already addressed it and you just forgot that quickly. Good job. Nice joke. GG, got him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sanji, smoke line's back. Let's go. Nice. Sometimes the smoke line just be not happening. <laughs> like, I think with Bon Clay, literally, when he was doing that whole, like, Nami and he was, like, going back and forth, I think his smoke line was just, just not there. Yeah. Oh, no. Like the rest of you. Poetic. <laughs> yep. You gotta look how big his mouth is. What the hell? Yeah, I'm done, bro. There should not be this many people. That's a lot. <laughs> there should not be this many people, bro. I like how they're not reacting to it that much either. The they're just kind of go? going. Oh, okay. There we go. At least Usopp called it out. Like, where were you, bro? Yeah. They don't... Okay, I guess they don't address it. <laughs> you know, that camel is probably, like, top tier. The camel's higher than Chopper. Even with Chopper's fight. Chopper Damn, barely really? did anything. Chopper barely did anything. He scooped up the mole woman. Now she's can't walk. Now there's blood. I'm Ow. glad they found it a little bit. They were like, okay, I let's ran green for blood. like three minutes and now my leg's bleeding. Why did that happen? All that hot air she blew out. Tired her out. Look at that. It's her familiar. Oh my god, whoa! Oh I whoa. <laughs> Oh my god! You know, fucking nice catch. Good catch. Meanwhile, fucking... I, I don't even know what kind of nickname to give her. I don't know what, what to give her. <clears throat> give who? Give who? Well, just how much of a brolic woman she is just now. Oh. <laughs> Huh? What's all this electricity? She's not even looking up, bro. Wow. Alright, battle's over. Cut to the next battle, please. Yep, goodbye. Get, get out of here. Come on. Drop, drop, drop. Should've just been a fucking shopkeep. Should've been a shopkeep. Should've been a shopkeep. Should've just ran your cafe like a sweet woman that could have oh my god she's still back for more ah got him ggs yeah imagine a main Nani? character dying that quickly like, right, it's could almost... you imagine that frame one just like all right you're dead 
It's almost as if that entire fight could have gone in that direction right there. Oh, she can walk again. Oh, no, she's bleeding. What's happening here? I don't know. Tornadoes? <laughs> oh, it breaks the weapon. Oh, that's right. She's not I even moving. Get Nami. up! I love how Nami like puts so much thought into Usopp's words. Like she really holds on to what he says. Like it's top tier advice. Yeah, they're best friends. And <laughs> Usopp would never lie to her. Nami was oh holy Nami. shit! I don't think he ever lies to her. Oh yeah, because he's a pathological liar that doesn't lie to Nami. Or I guess so. So if you really want to know if Usopp's telling the truth, have him talk to Nami. <laughs> I think he's just too scared to lie to her. Yeah, Nami, fat check him. You know? Yeah. You know, okay... Now that I'm thinking about it, Nami could literally, with that item, save all of Alabasta. Technically, not really, because the clouds will evaporate. But she could beat Crocodile with it. Or, like, be. She could be a support to Luffy's fight. Mm. She could have been a support Easily. character. She is a support character right now. In this fight, anyways. Oh my god, look she at those toes. She can't support herself in the main <laughs> fight. What, Liam? I said, look at those toes. They were just really poorly drawn. Dude, the feet in these in this fight is because like they're characters that have sandals. They might ah, look jeez. <laughs> yeah, her, her her feet aren't gonna be looking too good anymore. Mm. <laughs> they're not gonna be looking great. The artist can't help that. <laughs> yeah. The artist can't help a fucking gaping hole in, in the middle of your foot. Oh my. You know, if I was the girl with the spikes in this situation, I would retract the spikes and instantly put them back out again and just do that over and over and over again. Just fucking Swiss, Swiss her foot. <laughs> yes, she's right there. Yeah, she can't use her powers very well, can she? No, she can't. She's really bad. She's not a main character, so obviously she doesn't know how to use her powers. I hate to see it. Damn. Usopp betrayed you again. The hopelessness in her eyes. Mm. Yep. How do you not see this happening? <laughs> How do you not feel this? Imagine you have crafting spikes. this. Right? You have spikes. You can rip the cape. Yeah, I'm done with this. Uh, also... The pinwheel like, on her belly button. Poetic. What was it? Um, or I guess a spiral on her belly button. How did Usopp craft something like this? Um, He's always been a tinkerer, so why not? Yeah, but that's... <sighs> this is also the same world that has fucking snail phones, so like, what, what, what do you want me to say? That's true. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing's realistic, technically. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> and she's dead. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> nah, she's KO'd. Not just one building, but two it's the same walls. building, just two different walls. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, bra is just hanging on by threads. Yep. Barely on. Getting into the danger zone. <laughs> Gonna be a different type of show. Ooh. I just realized her fight took two episodes. Damn. So did Usopp's. Sanji's only took three. half an episode. <laughs> and we don't even see him finish. It was off-screen. Yep. Conclusion. Wait, no it wasn't. Sanji, Sanji was uh, on screen. It was just half the episode. Yeah, fuck. They didn't. Did they do that little in card thing with Usopp and Chopper? Did we just talk over it? We talked over it. Okay. They did it for Sanji as well, if you remember. 
Yeah, I remember Sanji's. Barely. Not yeah, really. don't worry. I thought about the exact same thing. I was like, did they do that for, for Usopp and Sanji? Uh, for Usopp and uh, Chopper? But yeah, they did. Mr. One was a famous bounty hunter, and he... Duh. This man could have been the uh, protege to Zoro. He really is. Don't don't lie. No, he doesn't even want to admit it. <laughs> you wow, you son of a bitch! I told you he you can't. He can't even deny. It. He's serious now. Hell yeah, Zoro. That's not a good image for him though. Spider. This is his names are Spider. Well, I guess he was made for that Spider Cafe woman. Those two yep. were perfect for each other. Some of Zoro's moves, I don't know how they would be considered sword fighting moves. Discord hates you right now. I can't hear you. Oh, does it really? Yikes. All right, talk again. Hello there. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, good. What do you say about Zoro's moves? Is, they're just some of the like the early game. They're just kind of funky. They put no effort into the animation just now. <laughs> no, I mean like he he put two swords in front of him, and then he charged at him like as if he put two horns on his head, and then just ran and then slides that. I don't know Zoro. Some of your early game moves they weird. Going to a two sword technique, I guess. All right, yeah. that's just next episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm feeling, so just, I'm our, feeling our, just like like our, an icon right now. Yeah, our conversations for this are just they're top notch. Anyways, we yeah, we're back. Yeah, see, that's all Chopper did was scoop her up. Yep. Usopp, Usopp did everything. Actually, those two knocked each other out. We yeah, thought. Right? Yeah, those two beat the shit out of each other. Mr. Duda Brunkley. I can't wait until we get further in and the more theories pop up. It's going to be so good. Also, I would imagine that this is probably really hard to watch in the format of a podcast because we're just sitting here going, ugh, I can't, this is so bad. I'm telling you, I will never refer to our show as a audio only. Like, you gotta watch the supplements. Yeah, like, you, you, yeah, you really do. <laughs> you need to watch it with us. You yeah, need to you experience really the pain with us. <laughs> yeah. Our I mean, we do. pod bits are a different story. But they don't like they're not they're not meant to be like the whole picture. There's just a snapshot of stuff. Yeah. What were you gonna say? We we also commentate a lot on the visuals of what's going on, so it's it's really hard. Like it's like, oh, what is he talking about? It's like, well, you don't get it because they're not watching it. Yeah, there's a timer there for a reason, people. Like but remember when we're talking it's about because okay, they they understand that they have to watch with us. They they should yeah. understand by now. Yeah. It's like, do you remember when we were talking about Vivi wringing out her coat? Oh, I God. do. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That'll just be a peace pod bit if there's 30 seconds of laughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then her as a thumbnail. No, nah, that, 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 that'd be too obvious. That'd be too obvious. When rule 30. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when, <laughs> no, when 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 Disney artists get bored. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. There uh, we go. I gotta bleep that out because that's a good title. That's a good actual title. That's a good title. I wanna bleep that out just in case. Okay, I'll make sure I do that. Oh my god, that was all fucking catch up. Good lord. Oh my god. How much how much time was that? That was that was five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> Oh, jeez. And there's still an outro, too. So we're only getting, like, 12 minutes. You, you love to see it. You love to see Zoro get shafted on his own episode. 
All right, let me see what the, uh, let me see. Zoro hopes to attain a new level of strength when he fights a foe with a body made of blades. I almost said booty, by the way. I almost said <laughs> when he fights a foe, foe with a booty made of blades. <laughs> what a different type of uh, technique that would be. The Straw Hat Sword Slinger is determined to become a man who can cut steel or die trying. <laughs> Wait, does he actually does it actually say that? Oh my god, it does. You can cut steel or die trying. Well, he's not gonna die because obviously there's no nah, nine hundred episodes of this. Nah, he'll he'll die. And that's a fake Zoro who comes up. Whoa. Next. Now, could you imagine there being a reincarnation devil fruit with the power to like reincarnate figures that you are? either attached to or you just have like some implement of like what if luffy oh. takes what if luffy takes one of zoro's blades that's like very special and like travels with the blade to keep his comrade close by meets the devil fruit user uh, who can do this shows zoro's blade to him and like he uses the power to bring zoro back or at least to reincarnate him into the world and now it's like luffy will find him during his travels later as zoro got reincarnated so uh, I want to bring this up now because even though it's like 700, 800, 700, 800 episodes until that actually happens, I want to bring it up because I think we have talked about it. The, uh, I'm just going to say the name of it. The Hobby Hobby Fruit. Did we ever talk about that? No. Okay. I won't, I won't bring it up. <laughs> I was like, where's Liam going with this? This was, I remember original, we, this was I, an original theory and Liam's like, well, actually... Cause that no, that's a really good theory, and I just had something to add to that theory to help support it. But it's just you I, I could have it if it's does it kill the plot early on or like what? No, like you probably won't even remember it because it's we're not going to see it for like two or three years of recording this. Okay, yeah, say it then. Okay, so the there's a one of the devil fruits is called the hobby hobby fruit, and it basically does exactly what you just said. But it's a hobby, hobby for you. It's whatever the person thinks of or what they like. So they could theoretically take a sword and turn it into something. That's what the hobby, hobby for you would do. So that would support your theory for something like that. Interesting. I mean, it, it wouldn't bring back his soul, but yeah, that's cool. No, that's but cool. it could definitely do something similar yeah. to, to that type of Excalibur. <clears throat> Excalibur? Ex. That that type of thing, yeah. So, it yeah, it's a cool fruit. I think it's also like one of the strongest fruits in One Piece because of how like the idea behind it is so massive. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I'm I'm done talking about it because that's it's just going more into spoiler territory. I mean, no, I mean it was just cool to hear. Yeah. I have nothing to add, obviously. Yeah, because it was stuff that you haven't seen yet. Mm -hmm. There are oh, there are so many really cool devil fruits, and also a lot of really stupid ones too. Oh, obviously, it's like it's, you know, come on. Okay, there's one filler that I want to skip so badly, but we have to watch it. And the guy's devil fruit is really—it's kind of stupid. He's just a regular person, but he can forge swords just out of his body. Oh, like is it like a real steel and everything? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He has it's the it's called the forge forge fruit. That's really good if he wanted to be and a he can, um, blacksmith. He could literally make a killing. Yeah, he could just pop out weapons out of his body. Like his entire body is a kiln, and he can why just pull weapons not, out of his body. Why does he not just make a living as a blacksmith? He could just be rich. Right, but no. Instead, he's the villain, and he's a part of like a, a four episode side quest. So, yeah, tragic. Yep. Maybe that's a movie. That might be a movie. Cause like it was so, it, it felt like a, it felt. I think it was like only three or four episodes. Shout out! Sh shout out to the Peace Pod bit. Yeah. Of our movie talk. Yep. <clears throat> see it's times like that where it's so useful i have a clip with is just talking about movies and we could share it yeah that's true 
No one has to go fish around for it. What a great talk that we never see. Like, we never see this man again, but shout out to him being a That's not guy. true. We, we see him periodically throughout the show. Ooh, he's he's just, just let me say it. You could just let me say it. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's how obviously I supposed to know? Obviously, we're going to see more of him because he's a part of Zoro's backstory. It's kind of hard to not see that. Shout out to us not seeing Nami's sister for a while. Hot <laughs> that's, yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's true. Or Kana from Usopp's village for a really hot minute. Yeah. Shout out to the kid Zoro being Chopper. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, wow. Good catch. Ah, uh, well, you know. Trying to be a voice actor and all that. Yep. Start hearing the similarities. Yep. I, I mean, I'm starting to hear some of the similarities between characters as well. So just just keep Bon Clay's voice in mind. Okay? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. There's nothing wrong with Bon Clay. I swear. Also, oh what God. the fuck? Cool. Ooh. <laughs> thumbnail worthy right there that that screenshot of him looking down yeah he looks like a villain like a thug oh my god imagine being able to throw a house quarter of a building yeah building i'm gonna tell you this right now people zoro's at the top of the tier list like he's not yeah he's 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 strong he's not dropping guys Liam's Liam's one dig at him is his loss of direction, which I have not seen yet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, lost, lost the budget. Double up again. They've yeah. been really, they've been really bad at they, this. Honestly, they really only do that when they're when it's connecting back to a character. They show that a lot throughout One Piece, where it's like if one if it's showing one person most of the time, and then it's starting to transition or it has transitioned to another character, it will show that in the uh, the timestamp or the title card the cards yeah time to level up zoro you got this go zoro i don't like this man he's able to do shit without showing blades well he's made of blades because he's steel but we don't see his skin change anymore like they just stopped doing that too did they now it's back <laughs> But like there was literally shots where it was just his skin. Look, like right there, it was just 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 his skin. Look, it's his skin. Now it's not. <laughs> what type of cut was that? Oh, got him. Well, he sent him up. He sent him up. It was a setup. Where's Tashigi? I would love for them to tag team a, a villain. That'd be cool. What if they were like perfectly in sync, ironically too? Oh, further that'd be that'd be really further cool. the theories, right? Of like that being uh Queena. Yeah. But she's not Queena, people. There's just no fucking way that he she would just free like unless like, the only reason the only way it would be Queena is if for some reason she didn't die from that fall, but it gave her like serious amnesia and she was like yeeted to another island or some shit. Yeah. Wow, what a way to grind down your swords. Holy crap. Yeah, shout <laughs> shout out to shout out to those two just Screaming in pain. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Wow, this is a lot of blood compared to Nami. Holy crap. And it's all gone. Just yeah. smudges on the t-shirt now. Why does Ow. it... Ow! Why can't it go through his body, though? Is it... Oh, his fists are still in the way. Oh, they really just—they're really just trying to kill Zoro. 
I mean, he has to do it or die trying. Ah, back to the description we go. Yep, yep. I mean, I'm about to say, I'm like, this is just with Mihawk. Every time Zoro has a fight, it's probably the most gruesome one besides Luffy's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those two have some gruesome fights. And it makes sense, right? Luffy being the captain and Zoro being the second one. Second whatever. <clears throat> yeah, uh, he's the uh, the second in command. The vice of the captain. Imagine if Luffy just didn't wake no. up in that, like, whatever. Yeah. Well, he's dead. How do you miss him? How does that not happen to Sanji's, bo uh, Sanji's body? Zoro's body should have been sliced like that cylinder. He yeah. missed his body and just aimed for the pillar. This man's a clown. I guess bones are just a different thing in this universe. They're just... They're just <laughs> too, too strong. I mean, yeah. Can't slice them and dice them, huh? Yep, it's like like everybody's bones are just diamond. No, they're just Wolverine's fucking titanium <laughs> bones. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I don't even know how like I don't know what what you call it, but I just call it titanium. I know it's a specific name, but like also, get off my case. Damn, that guy was cracking his neck a whole bunch. I can't wait for the Wolverine video game by an Insomniac. That's gonna be beautiful. Is that actually coming out? Wolverine's Insomniac video game got announced. It probably won't come out till like twenty twenty four. Oh damn! That's a ways away. I wouldn't be surprised if it gets pushed to twenty twenty five. Wow, that's how. I mean, game development can take four years. That's not that uncommon. That's true. But that's I mean, it depends on if they were working on it already. If they're working on it already, then yeah, maybe just like three or four. Fucking Zoro's a complete and utter badass. Like, holy shit! Yeah, Mister One's just a dumbass though also the music all right yep zord's still leveled up <laughs> <gasps> oh is this the first time we're seeing it hold up let me listen to this shit i think this is the first time we're seeing this Strength lift a boulder, by the way. He can hear his swords. He can hear his swords. And it's only Queenas, by the way. He only, he only knows his Queenas. Oh! This is the first instance that we're seeing this in the anime. Outside of Hawkeye, but like... No, it's something different, Zoro. The music, though. Holy shit. Yep. He sensed the pattern. He could dodge each one of them. Yeah, they made a lot of effort to make this, like, a thing. You gotta pay attention. Yeah, you do. It got introduced at episode 119. Oh, damn. This man became Avatar the Last Airbender. No, Sanji. That's not Sanji. That's Zoro. <laughs> yeah, we are making mistakes tonight. <laughs> yeah. I've been saying that too. I'm like, I'm catching myself calling him Sanji. I'm like, why am I calling him Sanji? Yep. You missed. Can't even he, hear him. He can't hear him. Man got noodle arms, I ain't gonna lie. It's a big ass body torso and Oh Oh Literal chills. 
He only needs Queen of Sword for this. Ooh. Oh my god. You didn't see that, my boy? He exerted no effort to slice <laughs> that boulder clean in half. You are a clown. See, he's number one. He should have the ability to say, wait, something's not right here. Yep. You are just one step below Crocodile. You shouldn't know that much. Ooh, that's a thumbnail worthy. Yeah, yeah, Zoro. He's he's S tier. He's already putting his sword away. You can't do this. You cannot cut away. All right. The payoff <laughs> just really fucked me, didn't it? The payoff yeah. really just fucked me. They didn't want to animate it. So, you didn't want to animate a badass moment. Yeah. And here we are. I can send you a badass moment. It's like that fucking Captain America mean. So you landed yourself in detention. <laughs> you have been bad. There's his theme. Yep. Ooh. No. I'm still asleep. You don't need to cut diamond. That would be a waste. Damn. Alubarna. That's the name. Battle in front of the Medi Assembly Hall. Damn, Who's well, recording these? I have no idea, but that seems like a good place to... New opening, too. New a new outro. 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 So it was... Wow, what a way to end this. They really did not give a fuck about this arc. <laughs> yeah. They did not give a fuck. They're like, we're just going to spoil everything. Oh, the English version of this is really nice. Really? I'll have to check yeah, it out. I think it's a female who sings it. Not that it's like, a, you know, it doesn't matter the female sung it, but I'm just like, the English version is like, it's, it's, de it's definitely a different take. Nice. Okay, well... Thank you everyone for watching. I know these episodes have been a complete drag, but we're almost done with Alabasta. So either skip this or bear with us, but thank you everybody for watching. True fans, true fans will suffer with us. Yeah, true fans will suffer with us and subscribe. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, please, please subscribe. It helps us out. 50% of you. A lot. No, I'm kidding. More than 80% of you have not subscribed yet. So subscribe. More than 100% of you have not subscribed to us yet. <laughs> please. Just like put the graphic up 100%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a bar that says 100%. Uh, so. Don't be like Deku. Stop going 100%. Subscribe to us. Yep. Okay. Well, we'll see you guys all in the next episode that should be coming out very soon for you guys. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Yeah.